getting your message out there this is all about tips for distributing your content so there's four parts in this video training series to get you ready digital ready for taste the island making the most of your taste the island experience telling your experience's story bringing your experience to life through social and getting your message out there so in this video we're going to talk about getting your message out there so start off targeting your existing audience so hopefully you've built up some email subscribers and we talked about this in early videos how important it is to build email subscribers and that can be a great way of promoting your experience for website visitors you want to have a promotion on your home page you want to have an image with taste the island and a link off to a dedicated page which is promoting your experience and you also want to promote your social media followers and in an earlier video we talked about the different categories of content you can use and in terms of scheduling that out across different channels now for email marketing tools there's a variety of tools available such as get response mailchimp and constant contact these are reasonably priced tools but there are other tools available the important thing is to use an email marketing tool now if you have regular experiences you know for example that's weekly experience you might send an email before and after the experience for example one day before the experience you warn people and let people know oh it's coming up tomorrow to so make sure they turn up and after the experience you may follow up with an email looking for a review for example you could create a sequence of emails so it's a sequence of five emails when they sign up and it's all all these emails are helping to promote the story about the experience and entice people to come to the experience in your emails encourage sharing so that other people get to know about the experience for always on experiences you want to send regular consistent emails to your list it could be every week or it could be every two weeks it just has to be regular you want to share useful interesting content about the experience or maybe it's blog content you have new articles that you're sharing that is relevant to the experience so you do want to share regular emails you might also share promotion emails about your experiences for example the launch of a new tour product line limited time offers etc but communicate regularly and consistently to your email list from a social media point of view you need to have a consistent flow of interesting content that is targeted things related to taste the island e.g. you know a promotion meal etc we talked about earlier about how you could have a consistent flow of interesting content in a previous video where we talked about the different categories of content you could use and it's definitely worth watching that video to look at those categories rinse and repeat similar content you can take a piece of content and you can just change the image on it or change the update slightly and reshare that because when you're sharing content out in Twitter, Facebook and other channels, most people still don't get to see that content. So it's important to reintroduce that at a later stage, but have it like with a slight variation. Like I said, just maybe a slightly different image. Think about scheduled and unscheduled. So you can plan out your content and schedule updates, but there's also different ad hoc moments where you want to share something that's going on now with your experience. So that's okay as well and also think about content for you and for others so content you're going to share but also create content and reach out to people and try to get them to share it as well just make sure that you're sharing out pictures or videos make sure you got the relevant permission you need to think about the scheduling of updates across social channels for always on experiences so and this depends on the channel you're on for example on Twitter you might have if you're sharing regular on Twitter you're sharing six tweets a day it would be easy to add in a couple more tweets related to experience if you're on Facebook you would probably only share maybe twice a week you don't share as often on Facebook or Instagram and if you have Facebook stories or Instagram stories you can generally share as often as you want as long as it fits in with that daily story now this may vary depending on how active you are on social channels but you should really think about this there are various hashtags you should consider when sharing for example hash taste the island is a good hashtag to use or you might have your own hashtag or there's other regional hashtags like wild atlantic way or hidden heartlands for example including them will get you additional reach and exposure and mentioning false ireland or discover ireland is also very useful because they are looking for 
good experiences to share and good updates. So they'll be monitoring this. So that's a great way of getting your experience in front of a, an additional audience. Running a competition is a, also a great way of getting additional exposure. So this example is Taste the Island Meet the Maker competition where you upload a photo. This means you get your experience out to some of your audience but also generate a new audience as well. So it's a great way of getting promotion across social channels. Think about user generated content. So getting users to share content as much as possible. So really encourage people at your experience to share it out to their audience. Give people photo moments. So think about when they're at the experience, how can you create a good photo moment that's gonna strongly encourage them to share things out. So you can see in the left here, people are wearing the aprons and you can see hash taste the island in flower on the table. This is a great photo moment. And on the right, they just have a box with hash taste the island. So they can create all sorts of photo moments with this. Now, when you're sharing out, there's various tools you can use for to help with scheduling. For example, Later is a tool for scheduling on Instagram. TweetDeck is a free tool for scheduling out on Twitter. And if you want to schedule on Facebook, you can just use Facebook itself. So the tools on the left, there's a pre-component to these that you can use. On the right, these are paid tools, Hootsuite and Agorapulse. Two very good tools, uh, but they are paid. Also think about doing some paid promotion to ch true channels such as Facebook. Fa with Facebook, you can target your existing audience, target a local audience. So you can geo target and say, well, I only want to target people within a specific area or target audience based on their interest. So I think the local audience is probably going to be the best. So you're targeting people within that area. And that can be a great way of getting more people to your experience. So just to summarize, well, your experience will be more successful if you build out a really good promotion plan to promote your experience across your website, social media, and email marketing. Invest in a couple of good tools that will help you automate some of the sharing of that content. That could be an email marketing tool to help you create an email sequence to automatically send emails to people, or it could be a social media management tool that helps you schedule out some of your updates, which will save you a lot of time. And number three, leverage the promotional power of Taste the Island by using relevant hashtags and mention relevant organizations. For example, tag Fulcher Ireland and Discover Ireland in some updates you share.